basically every aspect of cancer research will be covered in some way, shape, or yeah. form at this meeting. Um, there are certain things that are going to receive a little more emphasis. We were talking earlier about combinations with immunotherapy. So we've heard about anti-PD-1 and PD-1, but actually now we're moving into combinations with surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, and immune therapy, and or targeted therapies. It's an embarrassing wealth of riches in terms of what to talk about, and so we really tried to make the best effort to choose what we thought was broadly of interest to the entirety of our Exactly. You know, uh, attendees. One thing that they can expect is to see the latest and best cancer science yes. that really spans the range from basic science that into investigations about how cancer develops, progression, etc., um, all the way to clinical translation, clinical trials. Another emphasis area for sure is this very real aspect of what we commonly refer to as liquid bio biopsy. So really utilizing different body fluids, different technologies, um, different approaches to helping to detect cancer early, um, monitor patients as they're on therapies, and really um, seeing how that's playing out in both the basic science and the clinical setting. Just to add to that, uh, just outstanding cast of speakers. So we really have world-class scientists delivering the cutting edge um, information for our membership and beyond uh, that everyone is looking for. We're having more and more clinicians come to our meeting and they're coming to the meeting to understand the science because in contrast to decades ago, really now therapies and preventative strategies are all based on basic mechanistic studies. And if you're out there in the field treating patients, you really need to understand mechanisms. So it's inclusive in everything we do at the AACR. The best thing to do is to mark the dates on your calendar. Yeah. Um, so, so for sure you have that set aside and you know when it's happening. Um, and then basically pay attention to the website. There's tons of information there, including videos like this. I guess that they'll be able to get a bit of a preview of what's coming down on the pike on the, uh, for the meeting. And I think, you know, for those of us that have laboratories, going back to your group, mm. letting them know when the meeting is and yeah. how we need now to start preparing our abstracts and submissions for that plenary talk or that uh, poster presentation or whatever it is you're shooting for, now is the time to start getting ready for that. Be thinking prospectively with your group, whether you're in pharma in your group or your clinical group, um, because putting together a great abstract um, is challenging. It's the largest cancer meeting, research meeting in the world. So, you know, you've got 20,000 attendees um, many, many things going on simultaneously. So unless you've really thought about what do I want to see, um, you'll get lost in a sea of just tremendous diversity in terms of cancer research. So taking the time to know before you go to the meeting what you're actually going to target and targeting it, you'll walk away with the greatest need. And of course attend some of the events in the evening, they're a lot of fun. Right. I mean, this, the social events, the, yeah. in, the ability to network and meet people, you know, maybe even people you've seen up on the stage, uh, I think is really not to be overlooked. And we mm -hmm. have, you know, a race typically every mm -hmm. year that people can participate in. Um, it's just a very, very active time. So catch up on your sleep before you show up. Yeah. Too. <laughs> and it's, it's a great time to meet the, you know, Elaine Martises of the world. They're, they're speaking. You can approach them and talk to them. And, you know, yeah. it's a great way to network, as Elaine had said. And also for the associate members, there's all sorts of professional growth seminars and opportunities to hear about how do you navigate in a world of pharma, a world of academia, you know. Um, all sorts of opportunities for the young people. Also, uh, women in cancer research networking exactly. opportunities, which I participate minorities. in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have something for everyone.